Good evening, fellow Synology NAS user who runs Plex. So you may have heard that the latest manual DSM update to 7.2.2-72803 removes video station and it will prevent your Plex package from working. So I have a Plex package installed. It's this older version. Even if I was updated to the most recent version, this will not run after the DSM update. But if you're using a Docker container, and I have two Plex images here with one of them running, this is unaffected. So I will leave this running as we update um, Synology DSM. And then I'll shut the container down once we see that it's still working. And then we'll do the update for Plex to fix the package back up. So to start with, to update, you have to download the file from Synology, which I've already done. So I'm working on my older DS1019 plus NAS. So this is what I want and you see the other NAS is listed here. When I go to update my newer NAS, it'll be this file here. So we go into Control Panel, Update and Restore, Manual Update, we'll browse. It's right here. Last chance to make sure it's the right one, DS1019. I'll select it, select OK and I'll just follow the prompts. Okay, so the notes are surveillance station on DSM will continue to support server-side processing of AVC H.264 streams and the deep video analysis series and visual station clients will retain support for AVC H.264 and HEVC H265 codex. Snapshot replication will be updated that package. And I can't quite read that easily. File station will discontinue support for generating HEIC slash HEIF thumbnails and previews on Synology NAS through advanced media extensions. This change also helps reduce server-side load and unnecessary resource usage. And there's an article, article to click on, so I will click that I understand and update. So at this point, I'll stop the video and we'll come back and we'll show that the Docker container of Plex server is unaffected. And I'm back. So as soon as I logged into the rebooted NAS, I'm at this screen and I'm just going to say yes let Synology have my device analytics so I've got a red dot at package center and I have a notification power system off um, details about the UPS and Plex Media server does not support auto update due to important changes that may require manual configurations go to package center to update manually okay so it says repair needed I'm not going to do anything to that now I am more interested right now in container manager and this is not right this should not have started up two servers should not have started up So this is my default test server on this NAS. So let's bring in my web app. And see what's going on. Okay, so I have access to this container. And this is all public domain media on this test server. So let's go in go into a library and just start a movie quickly from the library 
All right, so it started up so Docker was unaffected. So let's bring that off screen and let's stop that container. And before I go back to the package center, let me bring in a web page and let's go to Plex Downloads. So we're on the Plex Media Server tab. We'll change this to Synology. And you see we have a new addition. We've always had a DSM-6 package, a DSM-7. Now we have a DSM-7.2.2+. So if I click that and choose package, I'll pick my Intel AMD 64-bit for the Plus series. And I can download that. And I, do, I don't think I already have it. Let's save that. Okay, so let's go back to DSM. Click the Installed tab, and let's do this repair, see what happens. And this is a test server also. Okay, okay, so this screen tells you how to give Plex server permission to your shared media folder. Now, I already had permission granted, so that should not change. All right, so Plex media server is supposed to be running now, so let's bring in the web app again. And you'll see my Docker container is no longer running. And I don't see the new server yet, but it may take a second or two. Okay, now I see it. And it says there's an update for it. So this is version 1.40.4.88.4. And let's go back to 8840. Let's go back here. And if we go to grab this again, 8930. So this looks older. 8930 versus 884. Nope, this one's newer. Okay, so let's see what happens if it says install manually. Okay, so it's going to grab that one again that we already grabbed manually. So now I can go back to DSM and I can stop the Plex Media server, the package of it. And now I can do a manual install and I'll pick the second one, the last one I downloaded. I'll agree. And again, it tells you how to um, give your shared media folder permission for the Plex Media Server user, but because I've already done that, the permission sticks. Now we'll run the new server. Okay, so it's running. And it can't connect until right now. Now it's connected and we've updated to that. So let's let's make sure the media plays on it. And again, this is all public domain movies also.
Okay, so the end result is in the Facebook Plexaholics group, there is a little worry about what to do with Plex. Um, and I shared a few days ago, I shared this Marius hosting guide on how to update, which talked about the issue with Plex and how you had to get a new version to, to download. But it really is just all seamless now. It turned into a big nothing burger after a few days because now the package center handles it perfectly. Which I must say is a big improvement over how Synology handled the major update from DSM-6 to DSM-7 that caused so many people issues. Now, remember, this was an old package to start with. It hadn't gone through the database upgrade that was maybe three, four months ago, where it took a lot longer for our Plex servers to restart after being updated. But because this is a tiny, tiny test Plex server, there wasn't much um, delay in anything. So, pretty easy. We just had to wait a few days, and Plex can handle everything. I'm sorry, Synology can handle everything itself. So don't be afraid to update your NAS. You will lose Video Station, but it's something I've never used myself. Anyway, Plex is my media server, and that's why I purchased both Synology NASes to start with. So happy Plexing, and keep the faith. Hello again, Synology NAS Plex server owners. I'm going to add this to the video I just recorded because now I am on my DS1520 Plus NAS and I've just done the latest DSM update. So if we go into Control Panel, Update and Restore, you'll see that this NAS is now running 7.2.2-72803. Now I had a different experience when I went into Package Center where I also had a newer version of Plex server running and instead of having a fix option, I have it marked this package version installed is incompatible with your DSM. So if I go in here it just says uninstall. So I'm not going to uninstall, I'm going to manually install over the top of it with the same file that I used on the DSM 1019 plus NAS. So same exact one and you'll see here's the upgrade for this NAS. And this is just another test server which means I can be loosey-goosey because if something goes wrong I'll find out for you but if everything goes all right, my test server is your canary in the coal, coal mine. And let me bring in the web app as we're doing that. So I had this name similarly. It's already running now that I've updated it. This is telling you how to grant permissions, but because permissions were already granted before the update, I don't have to do it again. Plex server is already running after the manual update. It's the same 8930 version. And if I go to my recently updated regular Plex server running on my little NUC under Unraid, this is not the same version, it's 8921. So I wonder how long it'll take Plex to get everything synced so we're all running the same version of Plex. All right, so if I go into this and go to a library, these are all public domain media. We'll just test one to see if it plays. Not a problem. And let's do one more thing. Let's stop this package.
Okay, and now let me go to Container Manager to start up the test container of Plex, which would be this one. We'll start that up. Start of the container. Let's bring the web app back in. Refresh the web app. Okay, so it's lost the package install. And before too long, now here's the here's the container install. And that is running the 8921 version of Plex. And that matches what's running on my Unraid Plex server. So the Synology package install for the new DSM 7.2.2 dot or dash whatever is running a slightly newer version of Plex. So I'll add this onto my original video because depending which NAS you're updating, you may have one or the other scenario to deal with, but they're both easily solvable to get your Plex server running again. And I did not mention this in the first part of the video, but if you're someone who insists on running an older version of Plex server, because you don't like the modern features, you should not update your DSM to this latest release. You won't be able to roll back a package version to a previous older one. Now, if you're running Plex in Docker under the Synology NAS and you haven't updated, that will not be affect you will not be affected by anything. You'll you'll continue to run your older version in Docker. Thanks for watching and happy plexing.